Learning with Texts, or LWT, is free, open-source software that makes learning a language more fun. That is the only reason I use it, because it makes something kind of tedious fun. The way it makes it more enjoyable is by having a measure of your progress right there. As you add words from unknown to learning to well-known, your word database grows, and that small number in your stats also grows. This also makes that unknown percentage per text smaller meaning that you will know more words in your material. Now that's a great site. Once you have a YouTube transcript that is finally 10% unknown, while before it used to be 90% unknown, the text also gets clearer and clearer, less unknown blue, less learning red, orange, yellow, green, to finally clear well-known text. All that to me is fun. Learning with texts is simple, really. You rate each word you see in the texts you import. If you know it, you mark it as well known. If you don't know it, then you have the luxury of looking at the bottom right side of your screen, a dictionary. I use this to see and write my own nice definitions of the unknown word into the box right there here, where I then save it. Now the definition is attached to the word, and if you hover over the word, you'll be able to see the definition and this will work even if you come across the word in a different text on LWT at a later time. I'll show you guys on how to set all this up for your target language. LinkQ, or Link, is a freemium alternative to LWT and could be a good investment and does provide Duolingo-esque goals to strive for, coins, and streaks for motivation. They have a catalog of texts with audio, but with the free version you are severely limited, even with saving new words. I'd stick to adding my own material that I find, which I try to find something with a good comprehension ratio. I'll show LWT gameplay later in the video, and you'll see that right now, for my Spanish, the videos are easy at the moment. Loot is a version of LWT made by another author based on the code of LWT, where he adds new features like the ability to add parent terms such as tener for tengo in Spanish. It's like the dictionary definition of the word for any declensions you might see. You can also add images and other stuff, but I don't think these are big changes. Migaku is another good tool that has really developed throughout the years. It needs its own video, but do check them out. They are also paid and they make stuff easier, although it's all the same ideas as LWT. You got an unknown word in your Netflix, you see the definition, you mark it as learning, and then save it as a flashcard to learn later. I currently don't save anything in Anki from LWT, although that's something you could do. I just use a deck that I found online to support what I do on LWT. My philosophy is that if the word is important or regularly used, then I'll see it in my material on LWT more often and thus I'll remember it better. How to set up LWT This is a guide so that you can use LWT on your own computer with the minimal of technical skills required. LWT is coded as a web-based program meaning it's designed to be put on a server and used there. I don't need a personal server to run over the internet just so that this program can run. What you need to do is to be able to run LWT on your computer only by acting as if it were a server, and you'll be able to use the program on your browser through a local address. I use for Windows, EasyPHP Dev Server 17 to run LWT on my computer by making the files act as a sort of local personal website a website only you can access. Here are the steps for installation on Windows. Download LWT from its website, link in the description. Two, download EasyPHP from easyphp.org. Run the exe file and follow the prompts to install it. Copy learning with texts to the EasyPHP www directory and unzip it all there. It should create a directory called LWT. Rename the file, connect, underscore easyphp.inc.php to connect.inc.php. Run easyphp in the start menu to start your web server. You can stop it at any time by right clicking on the easyphp icon near the clock in the bottom right corner and selecting stop. Additionally, you can adjust the settings to have easyphp run automatically each time you turn on your computer. Now bookmark this address and open it. On Mac, you need to download the local Apache server thing from its website and get the personal edition. Unzip your LWT zip file to application slash MAMP slash HDDocs. 
rename the new LWT, whatever the version is, folder to just LWT. Just like the Windows version, you need to rename the file connect underscore MAMP dot ink dot PHP to connect dot ink dot PHP. Run the MAMP and then run the address from your web browser. If you're on Linux, then you're probably smart enough to figure this stuff on your own. Don't get the demo database when prompted when opening LWT for the first time. Add your target language, and if your target language uses a non-Latin script or uses special characters on top of the Latin, like in French or Vietnamese, then look it up. There's probably a forum with info on what the rejects formula to use for LWT parse your text with. You can add a dictionary of your choice for each language you add. You just have to follow the guide by clicking the question mark in LWT, and then just learn away. What's up guys? So basically this is epic gameplay, an example on how I use LWT. Uh, basically I have this video, it's her morning routine or whatever, and uh, I have a transcript of her stuff right here. Right, it's pretty easy Spanish. Uh, most of the words I know, you can see there's a couple of blue highlights, which means I don't know these words yet. And the various colors here of the highlights, like red, orange, these are basically learning words. I may know them, I may know them badly, or I can already rate them as good. For example, subir, you can already see that it's climb, so I'll probably just rate that as well known. And uh, yeah, so let's get right into it. So let's play the video and then I pause it and try to uh, rate the sentence, try to understand as much as possible. Ah. He llegado. Ya estamos arriba. Esta es la gatita de mis padres. Ya tiene 15 años. Es un poco viejita. All right. So here she says clothes. Yeah, clothes that are um, that are uh, very comfortable. Uh, we're gonna go up. We're gonna go up, and because there's a lot of space to practice. Okay, uh, gatita. I don't know what that means. So here I have the um, dictionary here. So hitting. Put this right here. You can't see this portion because of the video, but this is where I can add the new words and stuff. Pero yo la quiero mucho, mucho. Podría estar todo el día dándole caricias, pero voy a practicar yo. <laughs> All right, so here it says, uh, gatita un poco viejita, which means old person. I will put a two, rate a two, because I've seen this word before and I can guess what it means. Um, Podría estar todo el día dándole. So I don't know what this one. I guess give it. So give. Right. And then I can say this. Caricias. Which I don't know what that means. Stroke. So basically to pet the cat. She can spend the entire day petting the cat. But now she's going to practice yoga. So let's see that. Me gusta mucho hacer yoga por la mañana. Me encanta. Me relaja mucho. Normalmente hago 30 minutos o una hora de yoga. Depende del día. Después de hacer. All right, so normally she does 30 minutes to an hour of yoga. Depends on the day. Depende del día. Is it All right, this is the next sentence. This I all understood. See, and nothing's highlighted. I can also, there's like this word that I supposedly am learning, relaja, what is that, relax? Yeah, so I'll rate it as four. I think it's really easy. And if I see it again, right? If I see this word again in different contexts, whatever, I'm pretty sure I can just put it as well known. It's a pretty easy word, but right now, like there might be some different contexts that I will not understand. So I'll just rate it. Sometimes I skip levels like that. I'll go like one, two, three, four. El yoga viene el mejor momento. Voy a tomarme un café. Voy a encender la máquina y ahora me voy a preparar un cafecito. 
All right, so here she now talks about after doing yoga, she should take herself a cat, a coffee, the marni, right? Well, that, that is uh, pretty self-explanatory. She's gonna turn it, turn it on, right? The uh, machine. That I can also read it. I, I've seen this word a couple times in different, various uh, declensions, so that's fine. Ahora me prepara un cafecito, spot coffee. All right, a little cup of joe. So I'm going to just read as well. Now, sometimes I put the definition as well, sometimes I don't. Depends, but this is pretty simple as well. All right, let's do this last sentence. Normalmente, no desayuno temprano, porque no me gusta. Suelo desayunar alrededor de las 11 o 12, depende del día. Tengo que esperar un momento. Esta es mi taza favorita para tomar el café. All right, um, so, normalmente no desayuno temprano porque no me gusta. So, desayuno probably means breakfast. That's my guess, yeah. Uh, that was a good guess because of the context. See, this is like the key here. Desayuno, I think I've seen it before. I don't know, maybe a long time ago, but because this is the morning, right? And she's talking about, you know, like breakfast and shit, her uh, morning routine. This is like, through context, I could probably guess, which is just key, it's so good. So I'll put it as three, cause like, I now kind of get it. But actually, let's put it at two. Not one, cause like, I got it right. I, I can fairly, fairly guess, you know? Temprano probably means early. Yeah. It's another guess too, see, she doesn't, cause I see the no me gusta, right? That means she doesn't like to have breakfast early. So it's all about that. It's just, this is what like LWT is about and learning through input and stuff, right? The, you could all do this without LWT and all, without the texts, but the thing is, right? This really like helps out with like progress. You can see like, like through time, they're gonna get more clear and clear, right? And then um, you'll have less uh, words to rate because you probably all know all of them. So, normalmente no me desayuno temprano porque no me gusta. Suelo desayunar alrededor. So, desayunar probably means eat breakfast. Yeah, it's just a different way to say it. Uh, and then, alrededor. What does that mean? Surrounding. Oh, it's like around. See, she's talking about time. At what time? So, alrededor makes sense. Depende del día. Tengo que esperar un momento to wait, right, or hope. So I'll break that a little higher because I've seen it in a different context. Right? It's, so it's she's saying you have to wait. She all is it needs to be waited a, a little moment, you know. You know you know what it means, right? And then tasa probably means cup because she just mentioned a cup, right? Mug. There you go. So this is all, and this is just beautiful because this is all comprehensible input. It's not really that hard of Spanish that she's talking, so anybody can probably understand. Favorita is really easy, it's from the, the same English word as well, favorite, right? So yeah, this is some epic gameplay. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed it. Uh, yeah, and I just do this almost every day. All right, thank you guys for watching and take care.